we are very close to the top. How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia to Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <clears throat> My throat has been acting up a little bit, again. Just because I've been talking a lot. Either way around. I digress. Let's go. Reflect. Ooh. Is it impossible to outrun your own reflection? I would think so. <laughs> the day that's possible, what are we doing? Collapsing. Apparently. You're awake. Yep. Am I? I'm skeptical. Oh, pfft. Shh. <laughs> I had a messed up nightmare. Yeah, about that. Wait. Oh, yep. It's all coming back to me now. That actually happened. Yeah. Thanks for getting us out of there. I'm glad we were in it together. Let's just be honest, the way things are going, that'll always be the case. I don't know if I could have done that alone. Oh, no. How long was I up for? Must have been a few hours. Man, what a ride. Tell me about it. Are you okay? I mean, aside from the existential crisis. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> well, that's that's a lot to consider. Clearly, this isn't a normal mountain. What's really going on here? I should have told you sooner. Back at the old ruins, a part of me escaped from a mirror. Part I'm not very proud of. I swear I dreamt it. You think the mountain made her real? That would make a lot of sense. Yeah. She's been haunting me the whole time. Also, the fun in the background. This is being recorded while everyone's home, so if you hear any noise in the background, I apologize. She lashed out at Mr. Oshiro. I think she was the reason the gondola stalled out. She was there in the temple. Why didn't you say something? I would have gone into that temple if I knew... I wouldn't have gone into that temple if I knew what this mountain was capable of. I tried to stop you. I mean, she did. <laughs> you could have mentioned that your demon doppelganger was the... Hey, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but my demon doppelganger is on the loose. What? <laughs> Come on, Theo. You know how crazy this sounds. I wouldn't even believe myself. Okay, okay. I understand. Next time, just talk to me, though. I promise I'll believe you. Okay. Thank you, Theo. For believing in me back there, I mean. Believing in you was the easy part. I wish I could have helped. <laughs> you did. You helped me get some strawberry, and you helped me you, you progress with your crystallized outer shell thing. It's pretty useless stuck in that thing. You actually helped a lot. Honestly. I could have made it without your support. Mental help can go a long way. Why is it so easy for you to trust me? Seriously, you barely know me. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Honestly, you remind me of my sister. Ooh. That's adorable. What's she like? Oh, you'd love her. Actually, you might not get along at first. But you'd eventually love her. <laughs> okay, Theo. She's a literal rock star. Music. Cool. She's a musician? That's so cool! 
I literally... I literally just said this. Okay, she's not literally a literal rock star. <laughs> Theo, if you're gonna say literal, mean it literally. Alex is just amazing at everything. She's studying to be a civil rights lawyer. Okay. Wow. How do I remind you of her? You both live so deep inside your own heads. Oh. <laughs> That's probably not the best quality to remind you of her with, but... Sure. <sighs> Alex has this amazing internal compass. It's obvious that she'll get where she needs to be. I can see that in you too. I wish I could say the same for myself. I mean, it ain't that bad. Oh boy. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We'll get to all of it anyway. Your sister sounds great. I really remind you of her? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're the one who's dead set on climbing this mountain. And you don't even know why. That's classic Alex. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'm just teasing you. Why are you climbing the mountain anyways? Was that just me or did the thing flash? I might be going crazy. You're right, I don't even know why. I just had to get out of my head. I'm stuck in a cycle. <laughs> You're preaching to the choir here. I've had many a soul-destroying day job. Work is fine, actually. I just... <sighs> I'm going crazy. <laughs> Welcome to the club. I can't stop thinking about dumb crap that doesn't matter. My brain fixates on these stupid things that happened forever ago. I should be over them. None of it even matters. Oh boy. Let's not start yelling, please. <sighs> I'm good at keeping up appearances, but the truth is I'm barely holding it together. I'm sorry. It's pretty rough stuff. Can I help? You're already helping. It feels good to say it out loud. You don't talk to anyone about it? No, not really. My mom knows I get depressed and have panic attacks. That's about it. No wonder you feel trapped. Yeah. How do you cope with anything? I drink mostly. Okay. Of course. And get mad at people on the internet. <laughs> okay. That one sounds a bit more familiar. Oh boy. We could go through all of it, but... Eh, screw it. Who do you think built the temple? It looks ancient. Must predate everything else on the mountain. The resort, the ruins, the city. There's a lot of history here. Actually, the earlier black thing, I think I know what happened. I have a cord that's sitting right next to my knee. I think I bumped it unintentionally. Oops. Yeah. This mountain has meant so many things to so many people. I'm starting to understand why that crazy old lady lives here. <laughs> you ran into her too? What's her deal? I think she's just a mean person. Wow. But she does seem pretty content living out here. How about you? What brought you to the mountain? I'm just kind of bumming around, <laughs> as usual. Alright, I started this new job in Seattle. I thought I finally knew what I was supposed to be doing with my life. But I hated it. 
So I quit after a week and, ho and hopped a bus to Canada. I just felt this urge to get lost in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I feel that urge a lot if I'm being honest. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize how flaky it sounds. Not really. It just sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. <laughs> Not Everyone is so patient with me. Though I guess I am putting a lot of pressure on myself. Makes sense. People always think I'm comparing myself to Alex. But I swear that isn't the problem. I'm just worried that I'll never figure out where I'm going. <sighs> Relatable. You said you wanted to feel lost? Maybe you should just embrace that for now. It's not a bad idea. Maybe. Would you mind talking about what depression is like? It sucks. To sum it up. <laughs> yeah, but what does it feel like? Like what's going on? Alex struggles with it too. I really want to understand. We can talk about something else if you want. <sighs> it's like... I'm at the bottom of the ocean. I can't see anything in any direction. It's claustrophobic, yet I feel exposed. That actually... yeah? I remember feeling normal. But now it feels just out of reach, no matter what I try. Then again, I was probably always messed up. Whoa, that's harsh, don't you think? It just took something hurtful to bring it out. There must be something wrong with me. Whatever happened? I'm sure it's not your fault. I guess I thought that I could... I don't know. I'm just floating in this abyss. Swimming in a random direction. Hoping that I find... Something. That's really why I'm here. But I can't escape myself. I'm literally fighting myself the entire way. Maybe this is all pointless. It's kind of harsh to say, don't you think? Madeline, you just saved my life. That's not pointless. Yeah. Look, you're a good person. You're a little intense, but you're a good person. I think you're just trying to push out of that rut you're stuck in. Yeah, that makes sense. And that's a totally legit reason to climb the mountain. Especially this mountain. Maybe. That's... helpful. This part of you that's haunting you. Maybe she comes with the territory. So you think I'm stuck with her forever? I mean, she is a part of you. Well, she's stuck with you too. That's not helpful. <sighs> Boy. So you want to destroy this part of you? Hope that hurts you too. If I don't, she's just going to keep bullying me. She says she's protecting me, but that's obviously not true. Maybe she thinks she is. She could be some kind of twisted defense mechanism. Actually, neurologically, that does make sense. Honestly, who cares? You should. She has so much control over me. I hate it. Maybe you can learn to control her instead? The feather helps a lot. Thanks for teaching me that. She just 
one of my grandpa's many nuggets of wisdom. Are you close to your grandpa? Yep, yeah, I was. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. It's just how it is. All I can do is stay positive. And live a meaningful life. Because that's what he want, would want. I'm so sorry, Theo. Thanks. Oh my gosh, there's a lot to talk about. What else did you learn from your grandpa? So much stuff. This is one of those videos where it can't be too goofy just because I'm indelved into finding out all this. Actually, he was the one who told me about Celeste Mountain. He always said this place changed his life. After I quit my job in Seattle, I realized how close I was to it. I felt like he was telling me to come here. <coughs> Grandpa said that the mountain was special. Do you think he went through the temple like us? Maybe. Do you think he understood the power of the mountain? Most likely. He never talked about what happened here. I doubt your grandpa was as messed up as me. Why are we saying this? His experience was probably less... violent. He found the mountain before I was born. I don't know what he was like before that. I wonder what he learned about himself here. Why not take a vacation instead? What do you mean? Dude, you needed a change, so you chose to climb a mountain. Why not do something relaxing instead? Go to Hawaii? Or like, take a bath? <laughs> I guess I feel like I need to accomplish something. Sounds like you have enough on your plate already. I guess it is kind of extreme. But that's how I am. I need something to challenge me. And I can't just do something a little bit. It's all of me. Or nothing. You know what? I want to remember this night. Let's take a selfie. Cool. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's adorable. That is adorable. You know, despite everything, I feel pretty good right now. Wait a second. You're going to reach the summit tomorrow. <laughs> Don't jinx it. <sighs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to put this all behind me. I'll be cheering you on. We should get some sleep. Okay. Good night, Theo. Thanks for being cool. What can I say? Comes naturally. <laughs> Shut up, Theo. What a meaningful conversation. Wait, what the? Uh, this is normal. Girls turning into golden feathers. Yeah, total. Totally normal. Ow. As I said, girls turning into golden feathers. Totally normal. Ow. Ow. And here we go. Alright. What is waiting now? The northern lights are so beautiful. Yeah, they are. Where are we? We need to talk. Oh, those are never good words. Okay. I finally understand who you are. You're not 
not my true reflection. I'm not. You're everything I need to leave behind. Ooh. You're cruel, paranoid, control. Ugh. Why would you say that? No, it's okay. I understand now. I don't need you anymore. So you're just abandoning me? I'm setting you free. We'll both be so much happier. You're so... So... So stupid. Oh no. You think you can just leave me behind? You think you can blame everything on me? You think you're above me? Oh boy. Answer me! <laughs> Calm down, please! Calm down! Breathe, Madeline. Use the feather. <laughs> I mean, if I remember this part, it's kind of irrelevant anyway. You can stay in the box, but I think it ends up being irrelevant. Yes. Yeah, that box is going a little bit too fast for me to keep up with anyway. You're going to think about it. Feather to stop me. You are not above me. You can't climb this mountain. It's time to accept that. Oh boy. Oh no. Madeline, what's happening? Uh-oh. Ow. How am I falling th wait. Ow, 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 ow. Oh goodness. How am I not dead? Well, I don't know how I'm not dead, but I'm not going to worry about it, because I'm going to leave this video here. That was a meaningful conversation up until it wasn't at the very end. We'll figure out our own reflection next time. But as I said, for right now, I'm going to leave this video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Celeste. If you liked it, push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel, have a suggestion for an indie game you'd like to see on here, let me know in the comments below. Want to check out what I've done prior to this? There, in my opinion, there's really only one notable one I've done at this point. Uh, click the link across my head here to check that out. Um, or, if you want to check out any of the stops you might have missed on this ride so far, top right corner, I'm trying to take you to. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we have to catch you guys in another ride. Bye! No! I kicked the thing again. Shoot! <laughs> <laughs>